Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. Maybe it's a trait that kicks in later. <laughs> hey, uh, Quill, were you uh, smart as a kid and then got dumber with age? Pretty sure he's ignoring us. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? It did seem unlikely. All I know is I really starting to hate this elevator. Anyone else nervous about what we're gonna find in Corel's office? No! So was this a coincidence, or did they know we were coming? Of course they knew! We ain't exactly been discreet! For the record, I took this mission to get us out of jail! Not because I thought Nikki was... You know! You will grow into your parental role, Peter Quill! Eventually! Paternal energy, Peter Quill. I kicked butt before and I'm kicking butt now. Nothing changes. Seems like we're due for a check-in with Cosmo. Groot's been trying, but still nothing. Everyone okay? Anyone hurt? What? Are you gonna start being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just. We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corel's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. Next stop, Corel's office. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. I am Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where's this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. Place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. I just realized something. Hello? Corel? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return. Hope. Promise. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> oh, appealing. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corel have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. That's not a real thing, is it? 
The Kree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. So, when Corell said we shouldn't be doing this... He was being literal. Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Oh, wow! The Cree have comic books? I am surprised. The Cree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Don't worry, Corral. I'll make sure this gets back to you. Seriously focused on food right now. Mystery makes me hungry. Hey, save me some, will ya? What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree purity laws. From a legal perspective, copulating with you is extremely objectionable. From other perspectives, too. Uh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki will be hanging from a wall. Corel had a real artistic side to her. Okay, I'm in. And I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes. But we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop moving. 
A warrior does not hesitate, Peter Quill. Okay, let's be careful. He says after you. Shh! Voice is down! Merciless unity! Looks like you need a little help. Of course I'm not gonna replace you with a robot! This may be I a problem! A new one. I will oh, end you! Crap. Deadliest woman in coming! Any last words? Is it me or are we barely denting this thing? Things Release her at once! We need to really the pile it on! Too worthy. Glass breaking. Might want to check on that, Peter. This bullet spine needs to be seen. Meet Star your maker. Come on, cut him down. Knife to meet you. I find punching flesh much more satisfying. I don't know. I definitely feel like we're hurting it. Hey, Scott Nut! Yeah! You! Put down my friend, or else! Sick of tracks! Prepare yourself, Steve! I am leaning toward Robot Priest over Priest Robot for the dog report! Robot Priest has a better ring to it! Man, that giant robot can take a lot of pain! Things built tough! We need to really pile it on! Blew him up! Your reference. You guys really need to work on your scouts. Hey, I'm not the one who broke the glass. There has to be a way to really hurt this guy. Cut to the chase. So are we Let's thinking this thing can brainwash people? I do not feel brainwashed right now. I feel shot at. We must tell the dog about the priest. Robot priest. Groot says the mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. I am Groot. How am I supposed to know why the poop ain't picking up? Keep trying. Man, what 
what I would give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. All of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panic scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks. Hey Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the Nexus is booby-trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just psyching myself up. Any chance we might need an access number? Maybe. Won't know till you try accessing the thing first. I do not understand. Why is Peter Quill not accessing the Nexus? Because he's scared of ghosts. Liar! I am Groot. Uh, Groot wants to know if Quill's stalling because of his fear of parental responsibility. Obviously. Clearly. No! Locked. I wonder, though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this passkey she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the Nexus. We're in! You're kidding! What? Yes! Guys, we're in! Go to the criminal records, Quill. I want to see my files. They can't be that scary if they share a record. So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. Hey. Isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Look, it's Drax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Grand Unifier Raker. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. Why does this guy seem familiar? You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. All right, let's take a look. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the Buckethead's got a lot of. Gotta be something in here. Hey, isn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. When's the footage from? Signal stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. <laughs> no, you're a lotus scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. <sighs> I 
That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So, we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Guardians of the galaxy. You misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices must be I had to check. Groot, quill kill. <sighs> Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Okay, that is really not cool. Matriarch awaits. What's wrong with the passport? Nothing. The pooch ain't picking up. So we're stuck here? Hey, at least the dumb skies let us keep our weapons. They demonstrate their lack of fear. It was a proven battle tactic. Katathian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? <sighs> Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. All right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Good luck with me. Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing people? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe them. They have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill. His drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? I am Groot. He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Uh, actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. 
just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers, lovers, sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the matriarch, the divine vessel. I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him. What the? <laughs> Come. Join me. If I intended to kill you... Wow, oh, oh, okay, that... Uh, that is a cool trick. Wanna explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sacrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. What, now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh... You, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh... Control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh... Well, it just seems like all this, uh... Faith energy is, is, uh... uh... hold on a sec. You, uh, um... <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You have a, uh... You have something on your face. My what? Yeah, it's like this golden... foily thing. On your, you know, face. I was disfigured during an explosion. One of the many tragedies for which I blame him. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your fascinating account of, you know... You were saying something about her? It seemed super important. The matriarch, I guess? That is not what I was talking about. Are you sure? It seemed like the matriarch was a thing at some point. She is the second divine vessel I was talking about the first. The one who refused to reverse the death of my son! But... She has come... to fulfill... that promise. <laughs> you! Get off that now! Back with the others! What? I was just admiring- Silence! It's time to meet the Matriarch. So... We gotta summon the Milano. Ow! If you'd kept Grand Unicorn talking, I could have answered that. Now we gotta look for a comm relay station. Ridiculous. The ship is exceptionally spacious. Yeah, well, maybe we can ask Quill's girlfriend for directions after she's warped our brains. Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Lady. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, 
You may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but... Aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh... Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But... This is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. What do you mean? Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light... joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting... for us to bring them back. All we need... His faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens. Until I show them. To die, Peter. You can save her. I promise. Get back! Your scaly mitts won't touch one hair on his head! I said get back! Peter! I imagined this moment so many times. So did I, Mom. So did I. <laughs> Real tough guys picking on a lady and a kid. I'll show you! They aren't going to keep Gosh, us apart anymore! Don't stop now, Peter! Push them back, Peter! You can do it! You can finally save me! You should have missed you so gone. much, Mom! I always knew you'd come back! Peter! Oh, Peter, my boy! Mom! What... what's going on? How, how is this possible? You saved me! That's how. I knew you would never leave me. I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me. And your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. 
And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The Matriarch will reunite us now and forever. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. I guess that needs replacing. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drex. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you, but you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. Are you still pushing that Janie thing? She's a lovely girl, Peter. Who's turned into an even lovelier young woman? She's that well, pretty Peter. Better than all the rest of them, pretty girl. Son is rather promiscuous, Mary. Dude! Not cool! Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? Is this the same radio you used to have? Yep. Sounds better than ever, too. Guess they don't make things like they used to. Rocket, do you think you could help me set the table? Hey, uh, Quill, can you do something about your mutt? He won't stop staring at me. No, he just wants to play. Maybe you should take him outside, let him chase you around. Har har, you're just about as funny as this game is exciting. No, we could all go see a game 